Well, Festival of the Lost has been around for about two and a half weeks now, and I've spent a lot of time on it. And I want to talk about some good things and some bad things about it and give an overall review and what I think this game needs to improve on. First of all, I want to talk about the good things about the event. They added seals, so that gives hardcore players something to go for. It. That's great. Then they updated the perk pool to two of the weapons, and they gave them an origin trait. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate them sustaining old weapons. Then they added a new weapon called the Macabre. They also added a new armor set, which is the mech armor set. I personally am not a fan, but I appreciate that they added something into the game. I appreciate that they added a new armor set, and I appreciate that they talked to the community when they did it. If you don't remember, back in April, they said, hey, look, we got two armor sets. Vote on which one you like. And the mech armor set won. Personally, I like the monster set more, but that's okay. Now, I appreciate all that, and I appreciate that Bungie is working really hard to make their game better and better every day, but there are a lot of problems with this event, starting with the glitches. Day one, people couldn't get their macabre sniper rifle, or if they could, they were very, very lucky. There were also spectral pages glitches. They were disappearing from inventories. They weren't getting them, stuff like that. There's still Spectral Pages glitches going on right now. There's also a timer glitch going on in the Haunted Lost Sectors that they said they would fix last year and they never did. Basically, there's a timer in the Haunted Lost Sectors, and if you kill 10 Headless ones fairly quickly, you'll have to sit around for two or three minutes waiting for the boss to spawn in. That's frustrating. They said they were going to fix it last year, and they never did. There's also a very major glitch going on with the horror story. According to DMG, this weapon was never meant to spawn in. I don't know why it's in Eva Levante's inventory. It seems like it should be spawning in if it says that it's available in her inventory. I realize that glitches are in some way uncontrollable because they just kind of happen in the coding. Like, some weird things can happen very, very easily. And I'm not a dev. I'm not a programmer. So I don't understand all that. And they're probably way more complicated than I would think. But being that you have a full year to kind of figure those things out, it seems like like we shouldn't have too many glitches. Now I realize that their team isn't dedicated to Festival of the Lost every single freaking year, but they have like some people dedicated to it. So it seems like there would be a lot less glitches than there have been. Then I want to talk about candy bags and masks. The candy bags are kind of useless. The purple ones give you purple world drops and the blue ones give you blue world drops. So ultimately, for me as a player, candy is useless. There is no point to candy because I don't want those world drops. Sure, they give me a few legendary shards if I dismantle them. I think a good way to fix this would be to make the candy bags a little more expensive and you're guaranteed a weapon drop from this event. I think that would fix it, it would make them useful, and it wouldn't seem like a convoluted stupid system. Then I want to talk about masks. For some weird reason, once this event ends, you have zero power level on this mask. I don't understand the reasoning behind this. I feel like you could just leave them in the game and players could just wear them year round and have fun with it. But for whatever reason, Bungie says, no, we're gonna take it from this max power light at the end of the event and bring it down to zero. I don't understand this at all because it doesn't seem like it's gonna harm anybody. The rolls on these masks are crap. Like you're not gonna get a good roll on this mask. So no like GM player, no master raid player is ever gonna use this. So I don't get the point in it. Why can't you just let players use them for customization just for fun, you know? Now moving on from there, I want to talk about the event pass. Back in May, they said they were going to overhaul all their events and make them a little more lively, make them a little better. So what they did is they added these event passes and it adds a bunch of challenges and then they added a paid event pass which adds a bunch of emotes. First of all, I'm not one for microtransactions so I don't understand the paid emote package at all. From a business standpoint, good for you Bungie for making some money off of these emotes. I don't see any value in those emotes at all and I'll never be paying for that and I think it's a waste of time. Then we have the regular event pass and that just has a crap load of challenges. I get that they want players to stay in the event and keep playing, but for me, it just adds a lot more time that I have to put into the event. It adds a lot more of a grinding factor. I don't want to sit there and have to play 20 Crucible matches. That doesn't have anything to do with the event at all. I get that I'm getting spectral pages, but that's about it. If these event passes were solely focused on like activities in the event, I get it. But there are some challenges that make you go play other activities that have nothing to do with the event. And I think that's frustrating and I don't like that. And lastly, I wanna talk about Haunted Lost Sectors. Now, I appreciate that Bungie, I think they added one or two new Haunted Lost Sectors. I appreciate that and I'm grateful for that. Like, I think that's great that you're adding new content to the game and you're mixing things up a little bit. But as a player who's been playing since the alpha, I find this activity to be very monotonous and very boring. I have to play it 35 times to get the seal if I want it, which is so much time. I think each of these Haunted Lost Sectors takes about 5 to 10 minutes, so like that's putting like 3 hours of my time into just Haunted Lost Sectors over and over and over again. That's kind of painful. I think that there's a way to fix this, and I honestly think that taking Haunted Lost Sectors out of the game is the solution. Haunted Lost Sectors are just kind of boring. I already play Lost Sectors regularly going for the exotics. I don't want to have to go in and grind them again for an event. 
Now, some people may say, but they're different. They have different things. They have, okay, so they have candles and some decorations, and the headless ones are a different type of enemy. In reality, the headless ones are just giant knights that they've taken the head off of and changed the model of, but I get it. For some people, this is a very exciting event, but for me, this activity is just really boring. I know that not a lot of people liked the Haunted Forest, but the Haunted Forest just provided something new to play. It's like the European Aerial Zone. We only get access to it for a few weeks of the year, so players want to go in and they want to play it. So bringing the Haunted Lost Forest back would be pretty awesome. It's an activity that we no longer have access to, and it's an area and a space that not a lot of people are familiar with. So to go in and play something fresh to a lot of players, to the casual players, would be super exciting. And I, for one, would put a lot more time into the Haunted Lost Forest than Haunted Lost Sectors. All this being said, I do like the event concept in Destiny. I do like the festival of the lost it's a good way to get people in the halloween spirit and stuff like that i appreciate it i do like it but it just gets monotonous and boring i think that there needs to be some major changes in order to make these events feel a little more lively i know i just crapped all over this event but i do really like bungie i mean i've been playing since the alpha i do appreciate this game and everything it has to offer and i know that it's a lot more complicated than just like moving some things around removing some things like it's all embedded in coding and it's very hard to get these things right i understand all that and I appreciate how hard Bungie works to make their community happy and to make a game that people can build careers off of and people can play so much of. I love this game, and I just want to see it get better. I'm not crapping on this event. I'm not sharing my thoughts on this event to just complain. I really want to share my thoughts on this event to explain this to the community, to reach out to Bungie and be like, hey, I think there just there needs to be some changes. And I think Bungie recently has seen this because a lot of people aren't too happy with this event. So I think... Or I would hope that next year this event is going to change quite a bit and be something that people really want to play. That's all I have to say about the Festival of the Lost. I want to know what you guys think of this whole situation. If you like Festival of the Lost, if you don't, let me know down in the comments section below. If you found this video entertaining or informative, hit that like button and subscribe and share this video with a friend. It would mean so much to me. Thank you so much for watching, Guardians, and have a wonderful day.